50% capacity right now, what would it take to get everyone to 100%? What kind of numbers do you need to see? We have to get to herd immunity, the top priority for us, right? You know, there are five strands out there and we want to ensure that none of the strands become part of our community. Herd immunity looks like about 800,000 vaccines in arms. I'm excited to see that We'll be reaching 500,000 first doses very soon. We'll continue to move that effort and ask our employers and our friends and family to help us in the community to ensure that they're safe. We'll also be continuing on with the mask mandate. As you know, the governor said the mask mandate and the social distancing will stay in place until such time that the CDC changes it or the state changes it. But we have some work to do. Um, to get to that, and we have to ensure that our community is safe for the long haul. You said 800,000 doses. I imagine that's 800,000 doses in Clark County. When do you think we would reach 800,000? If we're currently close to getting 500,000 and everybody continues to come out and get vaccinated, we could get there in the same amount of time that we got where we're at today. It's been about nine weeks. We've been working very hard to get that done. It could take us in the summertime, but we really don't know yet because a lot of it depends on community participation. A lot of it depends on our test positively rate. So I think there'll be a lot of factors we have to consider before we submit any plan for anybody to sign off on. As you prepare to take over things in May, what, what, what's it gonna look like, do you think, as you take that over? What will we notice? We really are working through that now as we speak. And the one thing that has to be at the top of our priority is public health, because we definitely don't want to go backwards. We have a regional board that meets a regular basis, has been meeting throughout the entire process of the pandemic. I mean, that's business licensing across the valley. That's the health district, that's gaming control board, that's OSHA. So we are working with all of those folks to see what this looks like for us in the future. And going forward, are you feeling any pressure uh, from the casinos and, and from the operators of the large venues saying, hey, we need to get these places open if we're gonna if we're gonna survive no here's what i will tell you there's not everybody is part of our discussions all major industries we all know that we don't want to see a repeat of last year where we opened in june and then in july we had to close back down you can watch the complete unedited interview with commission chairwoman kirkpatrick it's on our website fox5vegas.com and while you're there you can catch past interviews with other fox5 experts